So if you've been shopping online for a brand new mattress, there's a really good chance you've seen at least one advertisement for Nectar. They advertise like crazy, but is their mattress actually any good? Well, we have thoroughly tested it and we've got an answer for you. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm Messina.com, and we have our updated review of the original Nectar mattress. Nectar makes many, many different mattresses now, including hybrid versions, which we've done a review and a comparison of. It should be linked for you in the description if you're curious about those, but we'll be focusing most of our attention on the original mattress. It is their flagship bed, it's the most popular, and we've got everything you're gonna wanna know about it if you're interested in it, like what it's actually made of, what it feels like to sleep on, how firm it is, how much it costs, and who I think should consider getting the Nectar mattress. If that sounds good and you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and tons of stuff in the description. I know I said it already, but it's true. Let's get into the video by covering the policy information for Nectar. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. Nectar is very generous with their policies and you're gonna start with free bed in a box shipping. Now the unboxing process is very quick and easy to do. I do recommend having a friend there to help you out because it just makes the whole thing go a bit more smoothly. But there's one thing I wanna mention for this mattress specifically because it's made entirely of foam and uses a lot of memory foam. There's a really good chance when you unbox it, you get it out of its plastic wrapping that it's gonna look kind of misshapen and it's gonna feel really soft. Like if you lay down on it, you're probably gonna sink all the way down to your foundation or your floor and you're probably gonna have a bit of an odor to it. This is totally normal. It happens with the vast majority of online beds. It's just gonna be a bit more pronounced on Nectar specifically because it uses a lot of memory foam. Once the mattress arrives at your doors, when your trial period kicks in, Nectar gives you 365 nights. So an entire year to sleep on the mattress in the comfort of your own home with your own bedding and stuff to really decide if the mattress is right for you. If you decide that it's not within that trial period, you can get a full refund and free returns. However, if you decide to keep the mattress, you're looking at a forever warranty with this mattress from Nectar and all the other Nectar beds. So again, they do go a bit above and beyond with usual online mattress policies with the full year trial period and the forever warranty. But that's probably not the reason you're gonna be purchasing a mattress. You're gonna to wanna to know about a lot of other things. And let's start with the construction and the feel of the original Nectar mattress. So this bed uses dense support foam at the bottom. There is a hybrid version now, which we've done a whole other review of. It'll be linked down below in the description. And then it has a thin layer of a slightly more responsive transition foam. Most beds like this have this three layer design and the transition foam is there to add a bit more responsiveness to the mattress and just to make sure you don't really feel that super dense foam underneath. And then you go up to the primary comfort layer of the Nectar mattress, which is a substantial layer of gel memory foam. This construction adds up to give the original Nectar mattress a very traditional dense memory foam feel. If you've laid down on a memory foam bed in the past, this is probably what you associate with a memory foam mattress. You're gonna lay down on it and it's gonna feel pretty firm at first and then the foam is gonna start to soften up underneath you and then really conform to your body's shape. And when we say more traditional feel, we mean that this type of memory foam doesn't really respond quickly when you relieve pressure from it. Lots of other foams, like a more neutral foam, like you'd find on a Casper mattress or even a latex foam bed. With the Nectar mattress though, when you press down on it and you release your hand, it takes a while for it to really go back to its original shape. And this is definitely the more traditional dense memory foam feel that a lot of people are seeking out. Now, me personally, I don't really enjoy the feel of a dense memory foam bed. This is because I'm more of a side slash combo sleeper. And if someone who sleeps on a memory foam bed likes to rotate between sleeping positions, then you do encounter some resistance when you do that. However, some people really like the feel of a traditional memory foam like this because there is that resistance. And so you're kind of motivated to sleep in one position the entire night and you get that nice little nook to sleep in. So it's kind of polarizing. Some people love memory foam, some people not so much like myself, but if that's what you're seeking out, then the original Nectar mattress is gonna be one of your best bets. One other construction element I wanna talk about with the original Nectar mattress is the cover. The cover is nice and soft and breathable. However, the novel feature of it is that it's actually machine washable. You can actually take the entire cover off and throw it in your washing machine for a deep clean. This is nice for someone who might suffer from allergies, who doesn't wanna get that buildup of allergens in their mattress cover. It's certainly not the easiest thing to do. I wouldn't want to take the cover on and off on any kind of regular basis. However, not a lot of other beds have this feature and it's definitely worth mentioning. And it's pretty nice as well for someone who maybe rents out an Airbnb or something and wants to be able to regularly give their mattress cover a deep clean. Moving on to the firmness level of the original Nectar mattress. This is obviously another really huge factor when you're trying to decide on your next mattress. And in our testing, we found the original Nectar to be around a medium firm on our firmness scale. This means that it's gonna be most ideal in our opinion for back, stomach, and certain combination sleepers. 
in general, if you are more of a back or stomach sleeper, there's a really good chance you're gonna be wanting a firmer mattress like this. On the other hand, if you're a side sleeper, there's a really good chance you're gonna want a softer mattress because if your mattress is too firm, you can get a lot of pressure on your shoulders and your hips, which can get pretty painful over time. So if you're a strict side sleeper, I wouldn't really recommend the original Nectar mattress. I'd say if you sleep some of the night on your side, you'll probably be just fine. But if you're a primary side sleeper, you're probably gonna wanna go with something softer. And it, fortunately, Nectar does make some softer beds like the Nectar Premier and the Premier Copper. The one unfortunate thing though is that those beds don't really share that traditional dense memory foam feel of the original, but I still think they're really comfortable. I do think the original Nectar should sleep pretty much temperature neutral. There's nothing in the mattress that's gonna actively cool you down despite what Nectar might say. However, the memory foam they use is quite breathable and the cover is nice and breathable, so I think you'll be just fine. In the past, memory foam beds did tend to sleep a little bit warmer than your average mattress because you sink into the material and you just have more of the material touching your body and more body heat reflecting back onto you. This is less of an issue now with more modern styles of memory foam because it's much more breathable. So pretty much temperature neutral on the Nectar original. Now let's get into the pricing of this mattress, which is one of the number one reasons this bed is so popular. Nectar tends to set their MSRPs kinda high and then offer steep discounts. And when you're factoring in discounts, you should be able to pick up a queen size Nectar mattress with a bunch of free accessories like sheets and pillows for only about $800. The $800 price tag for a queen makes it very competitively priced and it's more affordable than a lot of other popular brands like Casper and Lisa and Ghostbed. So that's a really big reason why this mattress is so popular. It's just super affordable. The prices for these beds do tend to change sometimes. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on the Nectar mattress. However, we've been watching these prices for a very, very long time, like several years. And Nectar has always remained a very consistently low priced brand. So that's really the story with the Nectar mattress, which leads us to the question, who should think about getting this mattress? And I think that answer is fairly simple. If you are a fan of a more traditional memory foam feel in your mattress and you're not a strict side sleeper, I think there's a really good chance you're gonna enjoy the Nectar mattress. It has that super long trial period, so you can always try it out for several months, and if you decide it's not for you, then it's not for you, and you can get your money back at no extra cost. However, again, if you like memory foam, this is one of the most affordable mattresses on the market that has that more traditional feel. It actually, in our opinion, feels very similar to the more expensive Tempur-Pedic brand and often recommend beds like Nectar over Tempur-Pedic because Tempur-Pedic is very expensive, although there's a lot of other things that make Tempur-Pedic mattresses pretty compelling. But what do you think about the Nectar mattress? Write us down below in the comment section. We'd love to get your thoughts. And if you have any additional questions, put them in there as well and we'll do our best to answer them. We have a ton of information in the description, including full written reviews of Nectar, comparisons to other mattresses, best lists. It's a lot of stuff, including discounts. And one other thing I do wanna mention is that if you've been shopping for a mattress online for a while now, been watching our videos and you finally decide on a mattress, and if you use one of our codes, it actually does help us out quite a bit. So if that's the case, we would appreciate it. But that is pretty much it. This is Owen from Scene at Home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.